so friend recently i have got a comment from one of you and uh, he is asking that sir please make a detailed video regarding module transportation analysis via c so i have already uploaded a video which talks about the transportation of your uh, module uh, through the road that means when the module is being transported uh, by a vehicle okay on road so you can check the video uh, going to the playlist and in this video i will discuss about the barge analysis that means the next step from road to the sea definitely uh, let's say your fabrication of your module is let's say this is china and it is going to be shipped to usa right so uh, from uh, road then to sea and then again road this will be your transportation sequence so in this video i will talk about the c transportation what are the different aspect you need to know as a designer to uh, take care about the c transportation right so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to join the channel so at the very first why any type of barge analysis is needed well if you are new to this terms that is barge barge is something uh, like this one it is not like ship but uh, yes the part of it looks something like ship and the rest of the structure you can see it's a, a flatish structure that is specifically specifically designed to carry any module like this and the weight of this module can be up to 5000 ton yes it may be more than that and i'm not going to uh, talking about the detail of barge design rather what are the aspect you need to know when you are transporting your structure in a barge well let's say this is the structure yes you are familiar with how to design this structure for on site condition but that means when it is already installed right so if it is installed you know what type of dead load live load these are coming to your structure based on that what is the what is the reaction that is coming to your support and based on that reaction you design your support based on the uh, internal moment here you design all your member everything is fine now what about the stress condition or internal force condition when this module is being carried during uh, a barge transportation or through a barge transportation right so that is the reason you need to know so uh, before studying everything here we will discuss that is on empty loading condition empty loading condition means in case of a analysis where you have a structure that is being installed in your site you need to design the structure based on operating loading condition that means all these pipes are full with liquid or the equipment they are also in operating condition but when you are transporting in barge definitely you are not going to operate that right so that's a basic sense so every uh, analysis in your barge analysis will be based on empty loading condition right so first try to understand why or how the loads are coming let's say simply this is your frame or this is a module you have designed it right this is the dead load in empty condition this is also load so these are different load now let's say uh, you are placing this and it is static there is no movement suddenly uh, there is a superman who comes and who, who try to rotate this whole module like this whole module is rotating like this and this base is let's say this is fixed completely fixed so what will happen each and every member will be stressed why because based on a fixed support if you try to rotate something there will be some bending so based on that there will be some stress compressive or tensile same thing also applied here now the question is who is trying to rotate my module well the module is fixed at the base we are assuming okay that means it is well anchored or properly welded with the base of the barge right now what happened during transportation there will be majorly two type of motion first is your vessel 
में और बार्ज में पिच द पिच मीन्स इट इज ट्राइंग टू रोल सॉरी आई शुड नॉट यूज द रोल बिकॉज रोल इट सेल्फ इज वन टाइप ऑफ मोशन सो रोल मीन्स इट इज ट्राइंग टू रोटेट एलोंग दिस लॉन्ग एक्सिस सो रोलिंग इज वेरी कॉमन बिकॉज दिस इज द माइनर एक्सिस ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर और द बार्ज सो वेन देर इज एनी टाइप ऑफ वेब एक्शन इन मिड ओशन इट विल रोल रोलिंग ऑलवेज ऑकर्स एलोंग द लॉन्ग एक्सिस एंड ऑल्सो समाइम देयर मे बी रोलिंग एलोंग दिस मेजर एक्सिस एंड दैट इज नोन एज पीचिंग सो इन बोथ द केसेस हो दर इट इज रोलिंग और पीचिंग द सेम थिंग हैपन्स द स्ट्रक्चर इज फिक्स हेयर एंड समबडी इज ट्राइंग टू रोटेट इट सो वंस इट इज ट्राइंग टू रोटेट इट ऑल द मेम्बर्स विद इन द स्ट्रक्चर विल बी स्ट्रेस्ड so you have to make sure that during this rolling or pitching all the internal stress that is being generated is sufficiently less than the strength of your members right so let me erase everything and also one thing that once you analysis all these things definitely you will get some reaction at your support location and that reaction is also important why because based on that reaction you have to design this barge though you are not going to design this barge but the marine engineer who is involved in this barge operation barge transportation operation he or she needs to know what is the reaction coming from your module due to the action of pitching and rolling right well so the basic assumption is that we are assuming the 100% of empty load right at the location where the vertical load is placed let's say this is your frame right this is the frame and let's say there are two pipes at the top there is some equipment and due to this there is vertical load and to analysis or to find the reaction that is coming due to pitching and rolling what is our assumption that due to this rolling or pitching first consider this any type of motion let's say rolling so due to rolling what will happen the 100% of this vertical load will be applied in the same location but in the form of a horizontal force the same is also valid here the 100% of this empty load of the pipe will be applied in this location but in the form of a horizontal force right and when you are designing about the pitching action the same let's say this is the orthogonal diagram right so this is let's say the orthogonal diagram so initially the load was applied like this trans direction and once you are designing for pitching the load will be applied in this long direction right so the assumption is very clear that we will apply 100% of empty loading condition but in the form of horizontal force to analyze our structure and finally once you got the horizontal load definitely you will get some base shear not only that let's say this is your structure this is horizontal load and you already know in each and every uh, video i always talk about that once you have this horizontal force it will ultimately be converted into a moment and that moment ultimately converted into a compressive force and tensile force that means your structure need to be anchored properly to resist this uplift why because this uplift force is coming due to this horizontal force this horizontal force is coming due to the vertical load and the vertical load is converted into horizontal force because of this rolling and pitching action right so the generation of force is very clear due to the rolling or pitching the vertical load is being generated or converted into a horizontal force and finally that horizontal force is being transferred to the base in the form of a shear force not only that in addition to this shear force this horizontal force also creates some amount of tensile force or up uplift force and compressive force so all these force are now in your hand right 
not only that in addition to all these horizontal force that means the base shear plus the tensile plus the compressive force you are getting due to rolling or pitching there are also another type of force what is that let's say this is simply a plank it's a very common question in strength of material and it is floating over water you have applied uniformly distributed load over it now how this plank will behave right yes so if it is uniformly distributed load the reaction will also be uniform so there will be no such deformation but in case of a barge the location of this module is not uniformly distributed with respect to the base so there will be some disbalance so there may be sometimes this barge is actually this is sagging condition or maybe sometime hogging condition now who will uh, decide whether the barge will sag or hog yes the wave based on the wave the part of the barge will be subjected to either sagging or hogging so once your base is deflected definitely the structure above it will also be deflected so based on that deflection again some amount of internal stress will be generated within your structure so you also have to take care of that so in addition to rolling and pitching due to just dead empty load you are getting another type of internal forces these are this one so now it is clear to you what are two type of cases you need to analysis not only that in addition to all this type of analysis if the journey is more than 2 weeks this may be more or less based on your uh, standard operating procedure that is sop so if the journey is more than this time there will be fatigue in the structure because here you can see that the structure is continuously getting deformed due to the hogging or sagging of your barge so if a structure is continuously getting deformed there will be some fatigue that analysis also need to be done okay and here you can see what is next well all of this is now done and you are getting some base shear vertical force vertical tensile force and compressive force this data need to be transferred to the marine conductor and the naval architect because based on this data they will check this guy naval architect and marine conductor they will check whether their barge is sufficiently strong enough or not to carry your module right well so we have almost completed our analysis part and finally few points i just need to mention uh, during transportation you know that this uh, module is trying to move in horizontal direction as well as in long direction so to resist this type of direction sorry this type of movement what you need to do you need to anchor this module properly here you can see each and everywhere there is stiffener these stiffeners are welded within this barge deck because during this direction movement trans direction movement they will resist this module here is one support two support three four so between each and every column you can see there is sufficiently a stiffener welded with the bars below this transportation beam these are known as transportation beam here you can see these are transportation beam they are properly anchored with the barge deck not only that the marine contractor or the naval architect they also need to make sure that these support are properly placed well above the barge frame because if you see the cross section of the barge right so this is simply top plate 
so you cannot place a heavy structure over this top plate you need to properly make a framing arrangement if you ever uh, construct or design any barge or pontoon you know that in the uh, in beneath the plate of this barge there is sufficiently framing arrangement this framing arrangement ensure that this support or this column is not uh, getting damaged or displaced during your transportation so that's it i have tried my best to uh, make sure or to illustrate the procedure and uh, definitely you may not be it may not be clear to you completely if you have still have any uh, confusion or question you can ask me in the comment section so thanks for watching